All right, all right, welcome back to another episode. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Christian Clay, alongside me is Josh here, and he is one of the rock star agents on the team. Josh, how are you? What's going on, man? Happy to be back at this community again. I'm excited. We're in Davenport, Florida. We're gonna cover this community. You have to stick around for us. Drone tour, driving tour, home tour. We're gonna give you all of the information that you need, even information that people aren't giving you out there. We've seen a lot of videos, okay? Um, and you're gonna learn how we operate as a team to help a lot of you all out there. A lot of you all that are subscribers that have been reaching out to us. This is how we operate here at any point in time during this episode, just underneath Josh's beautiful face, team at morefla.com. That is how you reach us. Hit us with the big dog. Yeah, man, like we said, we're back out of this community again for like the second or third time. We've seen some videos out here but we've never seen nor have we talked about what really makes this community pop out. There's two major things that really catch my eye with this one. First being your location. As you can see in the background, you're right off of Highway 27, which is that main artery that kind of takes you to I-4, Posner. You've also got Publix Plaza and a hospital literally directly across the street. I mean, if Highway 27 wasn't so busy, maybe had some sidewalks, you could actually walk to these places. Also, there is a brand new Polk State College that is going to be built directly across the street. That in itself is going to be huge. I mean, it, you already have an elementary school directly behind it. You have a middle school down the road. You have a high school like five minutes away. Now you're going to have a college directly across the street. I mean, this place has it all. Second being your amenity center is going to be crazy. We've been to a lot of communities in Davenport. There's a lot of short-term rental communities, resort style that maybe have this place beat, maybe. But as far as like your long-term living, your residential areas, I mean, think of Charles Cove with your pool, cabana, sports field, green areas. I mean, this place is gonna be better. This place is gonna be legit. So if anybody has seen our videos, you've seen Charles Cove before, if not email us team at morefla.com, we can send that over to you. The reason why we have to bring that up is because this amenity center is not here yet. So everybody just kind of hears what we're talking about. We say it all the time. You're going to get a pool. You're going to get this and that. And they're like, okay, cool. And they bypassed it. But we want to pause you there. We want you all to envision a, a really nice amenity center. Um, everything that you would want just underneath that real resort style community that you would get at some of these short term rental places in a community where you're going to get to know your neighbors because there is no short term rental allowed inside of this community. And you were talking about, you know, location. I think that's huge. People bring it up. You know, you're close to Disney. You're, you're right off of Highway 27, which is a huge corridor right here. OK, there's a lot of traffic on 27, but that's because of what's around there. Hospitals, um, the all of the shopping centers and such. And then you have Posner Park up here. So I'm going to play Posner Park in the background while I continue to. Uh, while I continue to talk about that. So that location is great. You know, you're close to Disney. You're anywhere between 25, 45 minutes, depending on traffic. I was talking about 27 getting a little backed up at times. Really depends on the time of day right there. So location and the amenity center makes this place special, along with the tier of builder, which we're going to get into. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, as you can see, Posner in the background, you have a ton of stuff to do at Posner as well. You know, whether it be shopping or entertainment, they have the dicks, which, you know, we're in there all the time. They also have places like, you know, Five Below, Hobby Lobby, Rack Room Shoes. Target. The little... Target, Best Buy. Best Buy. <laughs> hey, we go there all the time. Hey, all this equipment we yeah. have, Best Buy, baby. <laughs> well, they've also got a really, really cool movie theater. I mean, you can kick back in the reclined seats, have like legit dinner food, alcoholic beverages, whatever you prefer. I mean, they've also got, you know, your little fast food places like your Five Guys, Chipotle in here. They have your jewelers. They have K Jewelers in here for anybody that's looking for that. I mean, there's a, a, lot, a ton of stuff that you can do at Posner. All of this stuff at your at your disposal, right up the road, maybe maybe ten minutes away. I would say, Re really close. Yeah, it all um, depends on the traffic. Now, hit us with the deets on this community. All of the things that they would need to know: numbers, price points, fees, etc. <clears throat> yeah, so with this community, you're going to have three to five beds, two to four and a half baths. You're going to range anywhere from fifteen hundred all the way up to thirty five hundred on your square footage. 
You got 325 all the way up into the low fives for your price point. They do have three series out here. So you're going to have your garden series, your classic and your estate anywhere from 40 foot lots to 60 foot lots. Your CDD is going to depend on which lots you have. So your 40 foot, you're looking at around 180, whereas your 60 foot, it goes up to, or 160 for your 40s and then 180s for your 60. The HOA is only 83 bucks out here, and that is going to include your internet and cable. That's big. You've also got inventory and 2B builds out here. And like we were talking about with the amenities, pool, playground, dog park, sports field, cabana, walking trails. I mean, this amenity center is going to be legit. And and this is something that you brought up, but I'm going to go ahead and steal your thunder that way because we're already on this subject here. But we talk about a lot of these communities. It, it does sound mundane. It sounds the same, right? We're talking about the fees and we're talking about the amenities and such. Another thing that makes this community so special is the tier or the level of builder, right? Like Davenport, we are surrounded by a lot of either vacation homes or more so entry level builders, meaning they don't really offer variety. It's more so designed for affordability in mind, right? So like most people that want to live 30, 20, 30, 40 minutes to Disney, but they can't really climb over that $500,000 mark. Davenport is where you go to. And so you're typically going to find entry level builders. Pulte, on the other hand, we've done a ton of business with. They're actually one of our number they're probably in the top three every year, of how many homes that we sell, Pulte's in the top three with us. Um, but they're definitely tiered up from the entry level. They're that move up builder that offers a variety of different styles of finishes, things like three car garages, extended lanai's, backsplash, stuff that you typically won't find with those entry levels. So to have that move up builder here with that proximity, playing ball with the other entry level builders as far as price point is huge because the other Pulte communities that you're going to find or other move up builders like in the horizon west and the winter garden you're going to be two three hundred thousand dollars more than this same proximity to disney too yeah for sure man i mean as far as like davenport goes this is probably going to be like your premier move up builder i mean you have your drs your lenars your highlands but with Pulte, you can really change some things they really have some extremely nice finishes. I mean, it's kind of going to rival the builders you're going to see in your Horizon West, your Winter Garden areas, but it's here in Davenport for a fraction of the price that you're seeing in those areas. One gazillion percent. Hey, you have anything else for him before we hop on to this home tour? Oh, man, let's check this home out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why am I already inside the office? Cool. What are we looking at? <laughs> what are we looking at today? Yeah, so this is their biggest floor plan. This is going to be your Yellowstone. It's going to be a two-story model, two-car garage. You're going to have five beds, and you can either go three and a half or four and a half on the baths with this model. This is going to be 3416 on your square footage. And like we said, the price point goes up into the low fives. This is going to be starting around that 485. You know, by the time you get done doing the packages or whatever, it's probably going to creep up closer to that five. But five hundred thousand dollars for a thirty-four hundred square foot home. Watch what you see with the finishes in here. One, you know, this is definitely the model. But look at the finishes because these are things that you can get either in a package or something that they've already done. Yeah, and <clears throat> with this builder here, I mean, there's there's different packages that you're going to choose with them. You're, it's not really a custom builder where you're going to go in there. I want to change this. I want to change that. They're going to have different packages, which is going to take you up into, you know, the, the move up type or as far as like their Mac daddy, right. but it's also going to keep you at a reasonable price. Whereas if you were going custom, you want to change this, want to change that, then prices can creep up on you really quick. But the way they do it, it's going to kind of, it's going to kind of keep you down there. It's right. not going to let you go crazy. Now, Pulte also offers what's called what we consider right on our team like that semi-custom and that's kind of their more expensive package that they do in some other areas but like josh was saying here is we're still trying to play ball with the entry level to keep the price points low for everybody so what they're doing instead of saying go to the design studio and run up the check of a hundred two hundred thousand dollars on all of the things that you love let me just put together 
three different, four different packages for you guys to keep the price points great, but you still get to select those things. Here's the reason why they do that. They do that because they need to keep those prices in a particular um, zone, right? If somebody were to go to the design studio, select all of these finishes, now the home appraises for 700,000, what happens to the rest of the prices? Now you're pricing everybody out here. So they need to strategically do these things in these types of communities. But I like that, I really do. You're getting a good, good home for you know a quality price. Yeah, for sure. They're gonna they're they're gonna keep you at a at, at the prices that you're kind of seeing, you know, around the startings. It's not gonna let you creep up two hundred thousand dollars, you know, more than what you were thinking that you were gonna get it. So we've this had is, we've had clients uh, already looking at lots in this particular community here, right? And we get a lot of people, a lot of you all. I'm looking right at you that reach out to us. And there's a few things that you want, right? You either want help with understanding the areas, you either want to find the builder that's best for you, and some of you get straight to it, I want the best deal. And some of you, hopefully a lot of you want everything, right? How do we assess this particular community right here when it comes to like deals? This community here is what we call like a hot commodity. I mean, the demand out here is absolutely crazy. So with a community like this, you know, we may not be able to do what we normally do, which be which would be attack the price, get the most on the incentives. So whereas other realtors would just kind of give up and just be like, well, you're going to get what you get. We're going to fight in other areas. We're going to go after that deposit, go after that contingency to sell. I mean, there's other routes that we can take. I mean, but with this community here, I mean, just you have 20 homes to sell or 20 people coming for two homes. If you're trying to ask crazy, they're just going to tell you, move out of the way. I got somebody here that'll buy it. So yep. you got to go other routes. Exactly. Hey, and you're exactly right. And and so even if it's not another agent, a lot of people yesterday, I was actually at a charity event. Somebody came up to me. I watch all your videos. Oh, my gosh. I bought my home because I watch your videos. And, and she didn't go through us, which is fine. It happens. But what you're saying is like 20 people. And we're using this you know analogy here. 20 people, one home. That means that the the demand is very high. The supply is very low. So Pulte, the builder, doesn't have to give a bunch of incentives because if we're asking for crazy incentives, they can just shift you to the side and say, next, please. Um, so you don't have to have an agent. What you were saying is like most people would just give up on that. Like, OK, what, what I get is what I get. There's so many more aspects when it comes to purchasing. A lot of you are relocating. Right. So you may have a home that you need to sell. If your home is not on the market, what is Pulte going to say to you if you love lot? 22 because it's the corner lot and josh said hey this is the one you need to get for your equity right here and pulte says i'm sorry we can't do that because you're not under contract on your home right those are the avenues that we're going to fight for you in you may not have the full deposit in hand because your home hasn't sold yet right so who's going to fight for you to make sure that or or to push to get you a smaller deposit when we say deposit that's not your down payment but that's just saying hey I'm going to hold on to this money. So whenever you get your full down payment, you know, you can get this particular home. Hold on real quick. I'm over here yapping, man. Look at this back lanai. Yeah, I don't think it's going to nice. come with all of these pavers, but that's a pretty big back lanai. It, it probably won't come standard with those, but they're showing you what you can do. Exactly. Exactly. Another thing to note, another thing to note, and this may be something that a lot of people don't look at here. These these the video of the windows, it doesn't do justice. These are quality windows right here. Most builders will give you that. It's like a brushed. I don't even know what you call it, like a brushed metal kind of really cheap slider that you typically get. These things are heavy. These things are thick. These are quality, quality windows here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about when we're talking about the premier builder in the areas. I mean, we seen it when we were out there. Those windows are, I mean, they are heavy duty and they are heavy. Yeah. Slide yeah. one of them things open and you're going to see that's quality. Yeah, that's exactly what you want, right? Peace of mind. Speaking of peace of mind, I bring this up all of the time. Pulte's warranty. And I, man, I really, let me just, Pulte's warranty. I really like their warranty. I'm not the first person to ever bring it up. Okay. But they have that five-year water intrusion on top of their warranty um, that they throw in there. And so what does that tell me? That tells me these builders will not put a warranty down if they feel like they have to use it all of the time. What they're doing is they're saying, hey, we know we build a good product. We build such a good product and we stand on it so much that we're going to throw extra on the warranty, right? Like just to assure you that, hey, we're doing a great job for you. So 
me personally, always bring it up. I love, love, love it. When you guys are shopping for homes, those are the types of things that we like to get into and weigh the pros and the cons. Let's say you have two builders that are very similar in your mind when it comes to location and the finishes that you may want. Then we start to dig into, well, how do they operate from a contractual standpoint? How do their, how does their warranties work? What have our past clients have said about them, right? Like those are all the little things that we like to nerd in on. Yeah. And we also get a lot of uh, clients when we're, especially the out of staters that are coming in, looking at these, the first thing they go to asking us is well, what about these hurricanes that y'all get all the time? Well, this water intrusion warranty. I mean, that could be the peace of mind that you need. Yep, we actually have one coming in a couple. I was days, just so. gonna say, speaking of hurricane, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we were just saying, hey man, it's been a good season. We have, and for those of you who are not from Florida, you know, we during hurricane season you get these name storms that start brewing, and maybe once you'll get one that kind of hits, you know, and it's more windy than anything. But we were just like, man, we haven't really had anything this season, and out of nowhere, next thing you know, you know, everybody's like, hey, did you hear? There's maybe a hurricane that's kind of brewing around there, but it happens. It does happen. That's that's funny because I honestly didn't know about this thing until yesterday, and it'll yeah. be here Thursday. Yep, it'll be here Thursday. So we'll still be working on Thursday. Team at morefla.com. Watch me respond. Try me. Team at morefla.com. Try me. Um, what else? Look at the windows. Look at the windows. Check this out. You think anybody on the entry level is going to do this? Absolutely not. Not a chance. Absolutely not. So these are the little things that we're talking about. So they, they've put together, they've almost sold in the last month or two like 80 homes out there like that's what we mean by the demand being very high in there but there's other avenues that we can attack it while we're on the subject here what's a base with Pulte? what's kind of base incentive that we see with them that we can still help people with yeah so the base incentive going on right now is 15k with your closing costs they do have rates that go as low as like 4.25 so that's going to kind of be your base model but like we say, that's your base. Right. If you come to us, we're going to fight for you in other avenues, and we're going to try to get you as much, if not more than that, as we can. Hey, we don't know when you're watching this video, so we probably still could attack some of the concessions that are being given, right? The 15000 that he's talking about. That's not maxed out, in my opinion, and how we operate. No. We have a system in how we operate, and we start at the concessions. Um, but you never know. These builders, they work on a weekly, monthly, quarterly semi annually annually basis right so they have to hit numbers 80 in a month and a half is a lot right we know that like right now that like is stuff. a but ton. you never know like things could kind of shave down in a week or two and we're still going to always go through our process to make sure that we're i use this analogy a lot like squeezing the toothpaste out of the tube trying to get everything out of it for you guys and um pulte love working with them i really really do they enjoy working with us we help a lot of our clients with pulte products so it Check we've this never once out man this is crazy. This is crazy. We're talking about 3,400 square foot here. One more, th one more thing while they're looking at this. Never once have we charged a buyer once. We've always gotten the builder or the seller to pay us, right? Team at more FLA. Absolutely. What would you so, do with this, man? I, ping pong table? Ping pong table would be nice, but I just love how it's away. Like when you come up the stairs, you don't walk through this loft to go somewhere. So you could literally use that room for whatever you want. And it's off by itself. Movie room, right? Something like that movie room football room well not for me this year maybe for you but i mean oh yeah you still yeah. use it for something long story people when you email us we'll talk to you about that yeah he's just when you see when you see josh a lot of you that reach out to us you know you'll probably be working with josh give him a hug this year at least 2024 <laughs> 2025 things could change a little bit there <laughs> um so another thing to a pulte's such a good builder in our minds that my brother just purchased a Pulte home. So he's very happy. He's in another state, but national builder, the number three national builder. So they sell a lot of homes. They really do. Yeah. And also with this community being so new, they still have a ton of lots that you can go after. I mean, they have two out here that I eyeball every time I'm out here, 401 and 416, look them up people, beautiful corner lots. If you buy this place and maybe in 10 years, you're, you know, you're looking to sell, you want to move somewhere else. Lots like that is going to keep its value. And that's the ones we're going to fight for. When you that's come to us, we're not just going to try to sell you a home. We're going to try to make your money count for you. Hey, that's a good, that, you know, that's a good point. So we had somebody the other day um, with another one of our agents that we were, and this is how, this is how people could be, right? So we were wanting to get a particular home, a particular lot as a spec home, a particular home. 
and for whatever reason, it couldn't get done. Somebody else jumped in before we did. And so they wanted to just take our buyers and shift them down like three or four doors. Totally different lot, totally different layout uh, as far as like the lot goes, right? The dimensions of the lot. But in their mind, the rep, and it wasn't Pulte, the rep was just like, it's the same model. Like, why are you guys, they don't care. They just want to move these products around, right? And what Josh is saying is like, we're analyzing different things. Um, we're analyzing like where your value is going to be in the next 10 years because we do help a lot of our clients sell homes when they're ready to move up, get something semi-custom or relocate. And so, you know, if uh, how many homes are going to be in this community just about, you think? There's going to be about 500 altogether. Plus, eventually they're going to have the town homes coming in sometime next year. So let's say 500 homes. Uh, let's say 10 years from now you want to sell and there's five of the same floor plans for sale that, you know, you're selling. If you have that one-off lot that you just can't duplicate, non-duplicatable lot, you're going to win. You're going to win, and we can leverage that, okay? So those are the things that we're going to look out for you. Anything else for them before we hop off? Yeah. Major, major news. It's actually insider information. I just got word that the city of Davenport purchased a 55-acre lot that they are going to be building into a beautiful, beautiful park. It's going to be rivaling... Bonnet Springs, look it up, people. The place is amazing, which is going to be awesome for the city of Davenport because we don't have anything like that around here. You're going to be able to, you know, go do the family thing, take your family out, nature walk. You know, they'll have different shows, all kinds of stuff. And you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to take your family to have fun. And Davenport doesn't have that right now, but it's coming. If you do not know about Bonnet Spring, that's huge. That's good information. If you don't know about Bonnet Springs, it's in Lakeland, which is maybe 30 minutes away from Davenport. Um, I've done a few videos on Bonnet Springs on my other YouTube channel here. It's a free place to go that my daughter walks in like these creeks, clear water <laughs> creeks with her shoes off. And it's it's like a, a place that you can enjoy outdoors without being worried. They have a kids' children's museum there. This is all free. It's the size of Animal Kingdom, for Christ's sakes. But you're, yeah. what you're saying is that maybe Davenport could have that. Davenport is such a bedroom city. Like, people go there to live, and then they, like, leave to go to work. And then come back, live, leave to go to Disney. There's not much enjoyability inside of Davenport. So to hear something like that, that could be really, really big. Yeah, I'm super excited about it myself. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Hey, so I think that we've hit home with this particular community here, you know, proximity, the, the level of builder, um, along with some of the other things in Davenport uh, that's coming to the area. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button team at morefla.com. That is how you reach us. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.